Yo, 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 this is Lord. I do another video, and this right here is, you know, furthermore, uh, thoughts on the aces and eights, uh, from a video from earlier. Um, the whole thoughts on the storyline is gonna, it's gonna be a great storyline. I know I should have made this video like a month ago after the attack happened, but all that stuff and all that crap got in the way, so I'm doing it now. But my thoughts on the whole storyline is great. I like it. It's something new and fresh for TNA, I guess you can say. Since TNA are big on stables and all that stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I think it's good that Triple H, uh, Triple H, TNA is, you know, doing a storyline with another stable. And we don't know who the members are. But as you see a video that I posted up recently... You know, it was revealed that Isaiah Cash, a.k.a. Luke Gallows, as people may know him from the WWE, um, as a part of CM, CM Punk's group, uh, uh, Straight Edge Society and all that stuff, before Gallows got released in 2010. And Wes Briscoe, who was also released, you know, around that time, too. Uh, it's a Florida, Florida Championship Wrestling Superstar, so... He's a part of the FCW roster, and he was released, too, around that time. And um, TNA picked him up, and they're using him for this angle. And um, my speculations of who else is in the Aces and Eights, I do believe that David Hart Smith is involved with the Aces and Eights. I do believe he is a member of the Aces and Eights. Um, some people say Chris Masters. I don't think one is Chris Masters. I don't think. Um, but I kind of had a heart out for Gallows, like I said in the last video. Because TNA used him before, and like his tattoos were similar to the guy that was during that was first shown during the first attacks. And now I want to know who's the just this one guy, one of the members of the Aces and Eights. He is just huge, man. I mean, this guy he he not only is he muscular, but he's tall too. I mean, I want to know who this guy is. I don't know who he is. I'm maybe somebody from OVW or. To somebody TNA picked up, I don't know, but this guy is, I mean, this guy is huge, he is up there, and, you know, I don't know, <laughs> but TNA is definitely doing their, their homework and picking the WWE superstars, it seemed like the Aces and Eights kind of multiplied from last time, because, as memory serves me correctly, it was three guys that attacked Sting last time, three, maybe four, I, I, yeah, four at the most, <laughs> This time it looked like it was eight of those guys, exactly eight this time, but some left Hulk Hogan's office, so they may be more, but, you know, there's been some rumors and speculations that only four would stick around afterwards, that being, I guess, Briscoe Gallows, um, if it's David Harsmith, him, and I, that, jerk, that gigantic guy, he's almost, I mean, he's almost seven foot tall, he's almost as tall as Kali, and... This guy, I mean, he is just absolutely tall. I don't know who this guy is. Some people say it's a guy named uh, Jay Bradley. I don't, I don't quite know who that is. But uh, some people say it's maybe him. He's maybe one of these aces and eights guys. I don't know. Um, but I do believe David Hart Smith is involved with this. Some people say Chavo Girl too. I don't think so. Yeah. <sighs> But it'd be pretty good for them to throw, like, a, a Mexican guy in. I have it all Caucasian guys, but, you know, a little bit of Latino flavor into it. I don't know. But I just don't see Chavo Girl playing, like, a gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, this group is obviously, you know, a gang of savages and gangsters. So, I mean, I don't expect Chavo Girl to play a character like that. But, hell, you don't know what happens, man. TNA is good for... You know, turning somebody into a complete opposite. And so is the WWE, so... I don't know. Um, but, yeah, my whole thoughts on the Aces and Eights. Awesome stable. Uh, there's been some speculations and rumors that uh, Hulk Hogan and uh, Sting have their own team against the Aces and Eights at Bound for Glory. It's kind of why they... They're another reason why they kind of written Hulk Hogan off of television for right now. So, you know, the other reason being his back surgeries. This guy's got more back surgeries than, I, I don't know. Um, but anyways, um, I hope TNA doesn't drop the ball with this. I really like this angle, and that's all I have to say with this one. Um, 
And this is RJ with another video. Uh, follow me on Twitter, little RJ Unlimited. Um, follow Sean on Twitter at Sean Steven Six, and uh, follow Emery on Twitter, sim simply Emery. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you guys think of the Aces and A's. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a good, they're good stable, good storyline. Not revealing who they are quite yet. To maybe have somebody like get an upper hand on them and then reveal who they are or whatever. So, um, be good. So, um, this is larger with another video. And as always, peace out.